Hey, I'm Sped Spedding. It's a ridiculous name, I know. Think of it like Ozzy Osbourne, but more affordable. Anyway, today we're here to talk about the new web player from Moises. Now, I've been using Moises for about four or five months now, and as an online creator and a guitar teacher, it really does make my life a lot simpler. I recently put out a video on my own YouTube channel where I went through Moises and all of its functionality in depth, specifically from the perspective of the guitarist, but the smart features that Moises has to offer um, can be taken advantage of by all musicians and singers, usually. I save questions until the end, but as you asked so nicely, yes, it is multi-platform. It's available on iOS, Android, iPad. There's a designated desktop app. And of course, as we're talking about the new web player, you can get it through your browser. So what's better than a tech company that makes awesome affordable products that genuinely benefit us? Well, that would be one that listens to its users and constantly makes improvements. So the new web player offers us everything that the mobile app already did and more. If you're already a user of Moises, then you'll be familiar with the ability to solo a track, mute a track, adjust the volume using the fader, or even pan from left to right. There's a speed changer, which lets you instantly change the tempo of a track. There's also a smart metronome, which synchronizes to the track and gets its own dedicated channel on the bottom. Of course, you've got the pitch changer, which allows you to immediately change song's key. Another really useful practice tool is the counting feature, especially when you've got a song that just starts cold. You can turn it on, select how many beats you would like before the song starts. Beat matches to the tempo and allows you to come in in time with your track. Once you've made your little tweaks, you can hit export, different file types to select from. You could just export a vocal, the drums, the bass, or you could download all of the stems. Or if you've created your own little mix, you could download that at the bottom as well. So, what sets this aside from the mobile app? Well, the new web player has several new features that are only available on the new web player, such as the ability to loop. If I click and select a very small region above the top audio file, click on the little looping arrows, press play. And I've created myself a cool little practice loop. If I click on the little looping arrows again, it will bypass the looper. The track will carry on playing. Turn it back on. And it will go back to the start of the loop. Now to get rid of it, you can simply double click it and it's gone. Now you might notice in the bottom left hand corner here that we've now got what appears to be a master volume. And it is a master volume. Before you could only kind of nudge the faders up and down and you might create a mix that you like, but then to make that louder or quieter where you've got to kind of adjust everything, now you can simply adjust the master volume. You might notice there that there is an up and down arrow that pops up on the screen and that's telling you that there are some shortcuts available. So if I use the down arrow or the up arrow, 
it will nudge the master volume up and down. That also works for play and pause by using the space key. And you can use the left and right cursors to nudge forwards and backwards 10 seconds. I also discovered a top secret one. If you hit the zero key, it takes you back to the start. I like that. They didn't tell me that one. Press play. Oh, I've, I've messed up. Zero. We're going again. So if we were in the middle of our looped section and I hit zero, let's see what happens. That's really handy because if you're trying to get a part of a solo or a drum fill or something, you keep hitting zero, it'll take you right back to the start and you don't have to click. Now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see the word chords and different chords popping up. That's the AI figuring out the song and trying to help you learn it quicker. What's new though, are the actual chord charts that pop up. You can make that a little bit bigger, have it on full screen, simply click it to make it go away. A very cool feature, and I'm sure that's only gonna get smarter and smarter. The last new feature that I wanna talk about is the ability to change the track separation from within your little project window. So if I click on the five track separation at the top and then select two tracks, vocal, instrumental, it's gonna process that track for me and change the separation to something a lot simpler, vocals, and instrumentation, then I'm free to get my karaoke on. I used to be kind of sane. Now it's never the same. I when I first got Moises, I was just using the web player. And that's because if I'm making content or I'm teaching, chances are I'm at my desk. To have all of the features and functionality of the mobile app and more in the new web player is brilliant. Now I'm pretty sure if you're here watching this video that you're already a Moises user, but on the rare, incredibly slim off chance that you're not, then you can click the link below, download it for free, have a little play, have some fun. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit like, Subscribe to the Moises channel to find out all things new in the Moises world. And thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.